when we talk about casting big flies like this, this is a four or five inch big heavy pike fly wet, we need to talk about gear. We talked about leader lengths, formulas, and fly line lengths and tapers before in previous tutorials, very important here. I've got six foot of level tip it on, which is 70% the diameter of the tip of the fly line. And then I've got a short head nine weight fly line on. It's quite a thick, heavy, blunt taper. We know we need that to cast these big flies. The fly line's approximately 30 feet long, so it follows the rule of, with this nine foot rod, three to three and a half times the length of the rod, which makes it a short head. And we know we need that because we quite often got tight back casting spaces and we don't want this fly line in the air for too long because we've got this great big dangerous thing on it. Let's talk about the rub. Look at that, it's bending. It's bending a hell of a lot. This is a nine foot nine weight Sunray Predator rub, specifically designed around the action of fiberglass, meaning it bends all the way fully, but it's made out of 20% thinner carbon. So it's a very modern carbon fly rod, but it's designed to bend. We need to get that fly in and out. So we need a rod that's going to bend and load at short range. That's one point. Another most important point is that when this fly leaves the water, it wants to jerk against the rod because there's so much energy and weight on it. Now, if we've got a stiff rod, what happens is this. I'll try and emulate it with this rod. It makes shock waves in the line because the tip isn't bending and following the fly. It's stopping, the fly's leaving it, and then when it joins it again, it's like this concertina of train carriages that have got slack in the links. So we need a rod that's gonna bend and smoothly follow the fly, just like that. So it's very important that with a, when we're casting big flies, we get the correct rod, a rod that really bends, now, if you go down and look at the rod, it's got oversized rings. Why? The fly line, being a short head, is very thick, and being a nine weight, it's very thick. It's got a lot of sur surface diameter, so these rings need a lot of internal diameter to reduce the friction. Because if we have a lot of friction on the fly line when we're hauling in the guides, we can't get the line and that difficult fly out. If the line's sticking in the guides, it's no use to us, so we need to be able to allow that fly line to fly through the guides. Casting with heavy gear like this, whether it's predator gear or saltwater gear, the tackle has to be much more thought through. This fly now is soaking wet and looks more like five inches long. Using a nine foot nine weight to cast it, you can't have a rod that's so stiff it acts like a tuning fork and you can't have too long a leader because the whole relationship you're going to lose what we call constant tension and if you've got the right gear you'll have constant tension with that fly and you won't have to get it in the air and overwork it because that fly is going to bounce around catch you in the back of the head and catch all these trees you want to get it out as quickly as possible into a big cast like that the right gear is essential. Now let's talk about casting the fly. So what about casting these big flies? Well, you can see that basically I'm increasing my stroke length. The rod's traveling further on the back cast and further on the forward cast than normal. And it's because I'm taking up all the, the shock absorption from that fly bouncing around. I'm smoothing out the energy application. and keeping in contact with that fly. I talked about a previous tutorial called Hook a Duck. Well, that's what we're doing with these flies. I'm making a back cast and drifting a long way, like that, so I can keep connection with it. There's gonna be some bounce inevitable with any big fly, but using the right tackle and the right stroke length means that it's safe. That's a long cast for a big fly, long cast. Strip in, long stroke, pop it out. Then you can fire a long way. You need to increase your stroke length. It's 
to stay connected with that big fly. I can't emphasize it enough. Use the right rod, a good soft action rod, a good heavy, blunt, short headed fly line and the correct stroke length. And you can load very short casts like this. Oh, 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 is he coming, is he coming? And quickly get that line out into long casts. How to cast big flies.